This is Diamond Gin. This is HO scale layout. I put a dam on one corner of this layout. I already got the base base in. This is where the water is going to be. Also going to be a lake back up in here. I got the sides prepared to uh, start adding some foam, extruded foam. That's going to be carved and painted. Already have the dam or the power plant mostly constructed. This is the base layer. This is made out of uh, so some old plywood that I had laying around, some scraps of wood and stuff. The uh, side was painted with gray and then with a little bit of tan and then uh, uh, used charcoal and uh, pastels to, uh, to weather that just a little bit, make it look more like it's uh, uh, weathered concrete. This base goes on the bottom. It's pretty nice right back up against the back. This is the next layer is going in. This fits up against the, the dam itself. <clears throat> Got a couple little stairways here uh, that uh, lead out, out of the dam. This is modeled uh, somewhat after uh, Hoover Dam. And uh, again, this is just, uh, just cheap plywood and scraps of wood that I had laying around. This fits right in here. It fits pretty nice. These are the side buildings. Transformers will be going on the side and also on the top. Even though this is an HO scale layout, I'm going to use uh, N, N gauge or uh, possibly even smaller for this to give it a little bit more perspective and depth to the uh, to the dam itself. This goes on this side. This is the other piece. Again, just uh, simple little plywood and scraps of wood. This goes on the other side. in there pretty nice and so you take an aerial view of the dam itself looking down from the top a little close-up of some of the some of the weathering techniques that I used. I'll be using some scenic water for <clears throat> for this part down here. Also, there's going to be the, the rock outcropping is going to come right along along this and and uh, back up in there. Same way on this side. Most of this is going to be covered and uh, all the foam, foam up in that area. I'm pretty satisfied with this for being uh, for being just scratch built. Not from a kit. This is Diamond Gem over and out.